Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Frank, an almost three-year-old Great Pyrenees. And this is my life, from my point of view, with voiceovers by Dad. This week, we're headed back to Bandon. We went to Port Orford and made a brief stop in Bandon a couple weeks ago and wanted to come back and show you folks uh, Old Town Bandon. The boardwalk and uh, head out to the jetties. Take a walk on the beach, take a look at the Pacific Ocean and the uh, Bandon Lighthouse. Bunch of great wood carvings. And we have a new camera mount. Dad put a post up about it and uh, a couple folks were asking about that. So, uh, oh, here in uh, just a minute, we'll be on that one. This is uh, one of the old mounts, suction cup mount on the back of the sidecar with the GoPro Hero 7. And you can see it, you know, bounces around a little bit. And here we are with the new mount. A little inset picture of it there. So, Dan, this is for you. And you can see the bike shaking and well the camera's really not with that mount. Part of it's the uh, GoPro Hero 7. The stabilization in that camera is really good, but that mount does a really good job too. So, the uh, IO port racing supplies mount for medium cameras is Frank approved. More than that, it's dad approved. Dad's always trying to find different places to mount Please the camera. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Oh, and please, if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. New video every week, every Sunday, so. Oh, a little sawmill there. Little band sawmill tucked in there, just on the side of the road. Real pretty down through this way. We're keeping our uh, social distance. And Sliding in the back way and abandoned here. We came uh, came in on 101. We went down to Port Orford there a few weeks ago. I'll see if I can't get Dad to uh, put a link to that video if you want to see all the way from Coos Bay down 101. That's kind of a pretty drive too. We're actually going to go back uh, back the back way. Um, take Beaver Hill and Seven Devils Road back to back to Charleston when we go home. So if you want to stick around for some some pretty neat hyperdrive video up through a, a windy road, it's definitely uh, stick around towards the end of the video. We'll get uh, parked here in just a minute. Look around the uh, old town Bandon. Check out the boardwalk and walk around the little uh, downtown section. Okay. Mom and Dad promised me uh, fish and chips at the bait shack. They do have uh, really good fish and chips there. You wouldn't think so. 
Kind of a funky looking little place, but they do got good fish and chips. Okay. Get a little shake in there, get my glasses in uh, cruising around mode. Which means basically off the back of my head. Uh, a mother's, mother's love. It's a mighty pretty day. There's lots of great carvings around here. Definitely worth a stop if you're out this way. And if you can't make it out that way, then stick around. We'll, uh, we'll walk around here and check everything out. And you can have a virtual walk with us. You catch that barrel over there? That was a trash can. Pretty neat the way they hide them. And there's a bunch of them around, so... If you put enough trash cans around, people will use them. Oh, look at all those pretty flowers. Don't forget, stop and smell the flowers. But keep an eye out for bumblebees, too. You don't want to stick your nose right in them. They like their space, too. But as you can see, everybody can enjoy the flowers. Bees do seem to be a little bit busy. Oh, Mom's got to get a picture for her Facebook. I don't know. I think I should have used that picture for the thumb. Leave a comment. Okay, are, are you done? Ah, uh, thanks, Mom. I, I want to look at more of these carvings, and, and I'm sure there's something over here to sniff and pee on. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty neat one. You must have, uh, you must work pretty hard at that. Wow. An octopus. How cool is that? Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Oh, yeah. And a reminder to like, comment, subscribe if you care to. And if you know anybody who, uh, who had a dog their whole life and can't now or always wanted a dog and can't have one, Definitely uh, share my channel. I'm the dog for you. Good old Frank. Virtual therapy dog. Nah, not really old quite yet. Nope. And if you do want to do any of that, you just go out on that far dock out there. You see some folks out there. They're grabbing and feeding the fish. It's, you know. Fish come in and eat crab bait too. Kind of a neat building they have, a little sheltered area for 
groups of folks when they come down. And unfortunately, with the COVID, that's closed. And But we can still be outside and lots of fresh, clean air coming in off the ocean, so. Hey, it's my cousin, and it's another photo op. Yeah, Dad wanted that picture for, uh, for a possible thumbnail for this video. There's a neat carving. They, they got a bunch of carvings around. Sea turtle with a mermaid lady. And tons of benches everywhere to sit, sit and relax. A bit of history about Bandon. Got a few of these signs around that talk about different uh, different stuff about the town and the area. Hopefully, this comes out where you can read it on uh, whatever you're watching it on. And you can always pause the video too. And Pretty neat, though. It's nice to uh, find out about different different towns. Oh, that'd be really neat to see in person. You know, if you could jump in the Wayback Machine and go back in time and stand on the wharf and look at all those ships. And we are in a tsunami zone. And tsunamis do happen on the Oregon coast from time to time. Last one was uh, in uh, 19, 1911, I think. Or 2011, I'm sorry. Not sure what I'm thinking about here. I wasn't even around back then, but... The boat we live on suffered a little bit of damage in that uh, in that tsunami. So I've heard about it quite a few times from you know dad and mom. And you are here virtually. I'm here physically. And. I'm sure glad you're here, too. Really do appreciate everybody sharing my life. Various adventures and things that I get to see and do. Makes me awful happy to be able to share it with you. That's a really neat saw. Really neat seahorse there. Uh, sunlight's not helping, but it's a whole lot better than if it was raining. What eh, are those information signs? Like this one's about some of the critters that live around. And the Coquille River. A little information about it. We should, we should probably walk over and look at the boats here pretty quick too.
there's, there's a little better shot of those folks out there grabbing. I think they're mostly all grabbing. Some of them could be fishing too. Okay. Walk over and look at the uh, look at the little uh, boat basin they got here. It's not very far out to the ocean. From here, a few charter boats in town that cruise out and, and do the charter thing. But pretty small port in comparison to Charleston. Yeah, well, we might as well uh, walk around town here a little bit. See what's... Uh, See what's up in Bandon. There's uh, a few things that have been here for kind of a kind of a while. And definitely lots of sweet stuff in town, no doubt about that. Cranberry Sweets, I think there's a band in the sweet shop that, uh, Lots of restaurants in town. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. If you're still watching this video, you must like it some. Stick upon that uh, thumbs up like button. Think about leaving a comment. And if the whole COVID thing wasn't going on, we might uh, we might try and slip in here and look around in a few of these little stores and shops, but. Uh, well, we'll just, mom and dad are being careful. So, we'll look through the windows. We'll, we'll do window shopping, and that'll be a lot quicker and keep this video to somewhat of a reasonable length it, uh, we're gonna, gonna get through town here we're, we're gonna have to get to moving otherwise this video will be an hour long but lots of pretty stuff to look at gets uh Keep getting distracted by shiny things. And I really do like the way they take, uh, and that barrel there is, that's a trash can. They got them all over town. Pretty neat. Oh, and another sweet shop. Abandoned sweets and treats. And Lloyd's. Lloyd's has been around for a while. Well, long as Dad's been around. And what's that say? We have shots, just no vaccine. Ah. 
That's pretty good. That's that's kind of funny. And you do kind of have to take the whole COVID thing and you know put as much humor in it as you can. There's definitely kind of parts of it that aren't very good. And sorry about the wall footage, but you know how Dad is about getting people. He just doesn't really want people so much in the in my videos. From a distance is okay, but try not to try not to have people in too much. Give people their privacy. Now, if you see us walking around and you do want to be in one of my videos, just let Dad know. He'd probably be more than happy to have you in there. Neat old stuff. That sounds like some place that we'd like. Mom and Dad like neat old stuff, and I like neat old stuff. Oh, those are kind of cool. It's kind of hard to see with the reflection in the window, but there you go. Wow. Oh, and that table's got two mermaids under it. The glass top. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay, let's let's get by this stuff here. This this building is empty. And, ah, there we go. The Masonic Temple and the Flying Pig. Well, there there was a flying pig in the. Uh, oh, that. What, what, Baja Imports. It's it's. Well, it's kind of on on. Just on the other side of Old Town, on 101. That was in the Port Orford video on the way back. They got all kinds of metal sculptures. And one of them was a flying pig. And big wheel, Myrtle Wood and Fudge Factory. And I don't know if this is the oldest tavern in town, but it's an old one since 1905. Well, that's going back. And there's the place we actually came to, uh, came to grab a bite to eat at the abandoned bait shack. And you can get bait there too, but you can get pretty good fish and chips as well. So anyway, we're going to pop in, grab a bite to eat, and then we'll run out to the jetty. Run out to the jetty in, uh, in hyperdrive here. It's really not, uh, not all that far. E even in hyperdrive, it... it won't take very long to get there. Okay, time to slow down. We're we're pretty close here now. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really not very far from Old Town to uh, to the open ocean. Really, that's you know. The end of the Coquille River, where it dumps into the Pacific Ocean. And I do love the beach. There's so much stuff to sniff and pee on. Okay, so... There's the South Jetty, and... 
No, oh, there, there's the North Jetty right over there. Coquille River coming out between the two of them, going out into the Pacific Ocean. There's that lighthouse. Let's just zoom in and take a little closer look. Yeah. Little sport boat grabbing in the bay. Yeah, if you got a boat, you can go out there and grab, but otherwise, you gotta. Just go on the docks. And I think they both probably end up, you know, people catch crab both ways. And just the rocks in the ocean. If you look, look close at the rocks, you can see lots and lots of birds on them. People were being pretty good about kind of staying apart, keeping the social distancing going. That's really hard for me to do. I like to go say hi to everybody. But it is relaxing to just sit on the beach and watch the waves. Lips got in the way again. Oh, watch the waves come in. And it's really a lot like sitting around a fire, just watching a fire burn. And I met this little, met this little girl. But. It's probably about time to start heading back. And, uh, most of this trip back will be, uh, just hyperdrive up through, uh, well, we're actually going to take, take the back way back. We'll, uh, Gonna get back through town here. And I I do want to show you these stick people. This I don't I don't know who built them, but they're on the side of the road and you can't really see them coming into town, but going back out of town, you can see them pretty good. So wanted to uh, share those with you. They're pretty neat. And then uh, after that, we'll be back on. 101 up to Beaver Hill Road and follow that until it turns into Seven Devils Road and heads on back down into Charleston. And if you stick around for that part, I, I hope you like roller coasters because it's uh, just a fun hyperdrive ride through. Lots of trees and kind of twisty roads and pavement's not too bad. And it's an awful pretty day out, so makes for a very, very pleasant ride and actually makes for a nice drive too, but when the weather's nice, better to be in a sidecar. Especially if you can talk dad into chauffeuring. So we'll uh, we'll just we'll do some some mid-range hyperdrive up uh, up to where those those stick people, I guess. looks Looks like they're kind of made out of sticks or little tiny logs. Like really tiny logs. 
Kind of like uh, the stuff mom and dad cut up for uh, the branches mom and dad cut up for Franklin Manor. Some of it kind of looks like that. There they are. Yeah, what do you think? I, I guess some of them are bigger. Whoever made those did a pretty darn good job. They look pretty cool. Okay. So back at it and uh once we uh get back up here to one oh one, which we're gonna get into right now. Get out across the Coquille River again, we'll uh we'll blast into hyperdrive and Take the uh, take the roller coaster ride back to Charleston. It's kind of fun. I uh, hope everybody's enjoyed the video so far, and we'll stick around for the roller coaster ride. Really, not too far to the bridge here. Okay, get ready, hang on, and hyperdrive. Not quite sure why Dad pulled in there, but he's driving, so I don't know. So I really, really do want to thank all the uh, subscribers and new subscribers and everybody who's been sharing the video and the channel. And every Sunday we'll have a new episode of my life. Never know what it's going to be, but uh, we do have Franklin Manor going right now, so... That'll be content for some time as we develop uh, that property. But I do want to say thanks again. Till next time. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my videos, stick upon the thumbs up button. And for the newest, go ahead and paw that subscribe button. Thanks again. Cheers.